Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be doing seared lamb shanks in a simmered sauce. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Well, now don't forget everything you use in the video today. There will be links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. So make sure you check those out. So I said at the beginning of the video, what we're going to be doing today is some lamb shanks in a simmered sauce. It's an absolutely awesome recipe, and it's one my mum taught me as well. Uh, so I'm just going to pass this on to you. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what you're going to need for this recipe is at least two lamb shanks, a Weber frying pan, or you're going to need the casserole dish. Now I've got the frying pan, I haven't got the casserole dish, so I haven't got the lid, so I will be using tin foil on the top today to make it simmer. But if you've got the casserole dish, you can put the lid on the frying pan, or you can actually use the casserole dish. Now this is a recipe that you can do on the Weber Q, you can do it on the Baby Q, you can do it on the Genesis, you can even do it on the Weber Kettle. All you need, literally, is it over medium heat, about an hour to two hours for your cooking time. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight to it. Right, so before we prepare our ingredients, what we're going to do is we're going to light that baby cube, get it nice and warm, and then start preparing our ingredients. So what we'll do is jump straight into it. So now we've got our vegetables chopped and diced, ready for that sauce. Well, what we're going to do is get them straight on the queue now, turn it down to a medium heat, get it all fried off, and then throw the lamp shanks in and get those seared and start making that sauce. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it. So our cure pan's nice and hot, it's been heating for about 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do now is get all our ingredients in the pan. So you can use the cure pan or the casserole dish, and I will put links in the description below of where to get them from. We're gonna get that lamb seared all the way around with the vegetables in the pan. Seared on the sides, started to brown, so we're just going to take it off and start making that sauce. First, there. And we'll start adding our contents for our sauce. Right, so we're just going to add our beef stock. Uh, flour, tomato puree, our rosemary, and our red wine. And just give all that a stir. Okay. 
I've got that nice sauce all mixed. Ready to put our lamb shanks back in. I've got to cast all this from the top on. What we're going to do is just cover it with some tin foil. Leave that on a low heat for about an hour. Obviously it's been about 20 minutes, so we're just going to add some water as that starts to reduce down. To lay that to reduce down again into a nice sauce. And we'll just cover that back up to simmer. For another 10 minutes, so we're just going to turn those. You can see that sauce. It's just rendering down, and that meat is literally going to fall off that bone. Just leave those for another 10 minutes. Once it's time to get these off, right? So let's get this plated up. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick video and don't forget everything I used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check those out. As you can see from the video, it's a really simple dish to make. Again, all you need are your lamb shanks and that ingredients which is listed down below. Uh, and it's a really, really simple recipe. Like I said in the video, you can use the casserole dish and it would make things a lot easier. I hadn't got one at a specific moment in time. If you've got the Weber casserole dish, you can use the lid on the frying pan or just use a casserole dish, which will give you a lot more room and able to simmer that sauce a lot easier. Again, you can do it on the kettle, you can do it on the Genesis, and you can do it on the Q, as you've seen. So again, if those of you new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.